So we started the street art project with the Boys and Girls Club in 2013. Uh, before that, I actually, uh, actually kind of grew up with this project. Uh, when I finished university, this was uh, the first professional art job I had was uh, with what it was called Graffiti Transformation back then. So the partnership with the Boys and Girls Club started in 2013. So we thought about it and we decided, you know, the best thing to do is let's, let's actually create, uh, let's create some art in the community. Let's actually show what that could mean, what that could be. We created the paintings and the murals in the community. People saw it and when they saw it, they actually could connect to it, they can relate to it. And the more we've created art, the more young people are interested in it. I think at some point, it's, it's, it might even be subconscious, they're walking by, they see something, and they say, oh, that's pretty cool. And then the opportunity comes up to participate in the project. It's been a massive, massive, massive impact. I've been working with Amir for, I want to say it's close to a decade, but not quite, maybe eight, seven, eight years. I've known Amir, he's like been like a, uh, like a great support, a great mentor, a great teacher, and a great friend. Yeah, like once he saw kind of like my, um, I guess, artistic skills or whatever, he's been trying to like just push me to um, improve and to get better as an artist. I learned so much on this project because it was like, because it, yeah, it's like one of the first like projects that I've uh, worked on from the beginning to end. And um, yeah, everything from like design to the community consultation. This year, uh, the building is uh, more single units, so there isn't that many families. But what we did was we went into the lobbies and we took a ton of artwork and just people as they're coming in and out, we engage them and they give us their feedback. Everybody really loved the was. I believe it's a Banksy. Uh, it's, it's, it's an image of a, a kind of like a silhouette or a character pulling away at a wall and it's revealing this kind of like colorful, crazy, abstract scene behind it. So everybody really liked that and when we asked them why, uh, they said it represented uh, kind of struggle and that was a reoccurring theme that came up. We used that same type of effect where there's a figure pulling away at the wall and revealing uh, the inside which we created the concept of outer space and inner space. And through that we represented the idea that, that there's infinite possibilities, that there's an infinite universe and there's uh, a lot of incredible things when you break through your struggle. I think it's important to have art in the community because it's like a different way of showing like, I don't know, like another version of the community, like maybe different, like, like say if it's a bad area, it may like bring happiness, not make people so scared of the area, or it makes the area look a better, it gives it kind of like a I would say a good vibe. I guess it's used to like express yourself. Like you can tell like a story. Yeah, it is important to have art in the community because uh, through art we can express ourselves uh, and for the communities we can express the community behind it. The recent project we are doing is for our community. So we are just celebrating what they are inside the community. What are the positive things and positive vibes that comes out from the community. It's. I think the most important thing, the most gratifying thing you can feel is when your art has an impact. So as an artist, when you, when you, you know when you can go into a neighborhood, into a community and create art that brings people together, I think that's the ultimate feeling. No pressure, but we want to do more, man. Yeah. We want to do more. We want more and more and more. Yeah. So if you want to say a few words, I I'm, I was new to uh, to Scarborough when uh, to, when I met him here and uh, was just coming on board with Toronto Community Housing. Uh, but what I saw was um, a group of people that uh, worked really well with the community. Um, and it's really about feeling connected, feeling involved, feeling valued. Also, when you're a newcomer or when you live in a marginalized community or you live in poverty, you also don't get to experience those levels of. Uh, feeling accepted, feeling wanted, feeling valued, feeling like you're a part of something. So it might be something as simple as just an opportunity to create something in your community, but the impact that it can have on you is, I think, really profound. The power of it, the impact of it, like nothing can break those barriers like art has.